everyone at Monizai Trooper and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install EUP into your guys' 5M server completely for free. There is one catch, this means you guys have to run your 5M server and your 5M in the latest beta version. This is because in theory in the future having EUP in streaming clothes will be free completely on the normal version. But since at the minute it is technically early access, the only way you could do that is by switching to the early access version of 5M or for paying for the $15 per month Patreon, which allows you to stream clothes. So the free way is obviously switching to the beta mode, which does have a couple of restrictions of the amount of people who can join your server. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. What you guys are gonna do is hit the first link down in the description below. That ring goes right here to the EUP download page. Head down here and download EUP menu and the EUP server-sided files. And once you guys have done that, open them both on up. And the first one we are going to install is going to be your EUP menu folder. And make sure you guys, when, are, when you are installing this, you're not installing the master folder. You're installing the UI folder inside of the master folder because the master folder is not the one we need. What you guys are going to want to do is very simply open up your file explorer and find your guys' GTA 5 5M server. If you have installed it the same way as I have, it'll be on your C drive. Under FX server, go under TX data and then CFX default and resources. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to delete it because I already have it installed. What you guys are going to want to do is very simply grab your EUP UI folder and drag and drop it into your guys' resources folder. And then the next step is going to be grabbing your EUP folder number two. So inside of that, and you guys should be able to see inside of the EUP stream folder is going to be all of your file names, which is pretty much the exact same as EUP on GTA 5 LSPDFR. But before you actually drag and drop it into your game inside of your folders, this is just drag and dropping it into a folder. So within the file name, it actually specifies where you need to install it. So if you guys do want to install EUP mods that are just built for LSPDFR, all you guys need to do is actually write before the file name where you need to install it in text and it'll pretty much always work. What you guys are going to want to do to install this is the exact same. Drag and drop it into your game like so. And it should take a couple of seconds and then it will be done just because it is a little bit of a bigger file. And from here, go back to your CFX default file and open up your server.cfg. Now, if you haven't already had this installed, you will have this. But the next step is making sure you guys ensure this or start it on your guys' resource file. So to do that, if you don't already have it, copy and paste the most recent one you have and control V it twice. Go back to your resources file and copy and paste the name of each file, making sure that is the exact same because even a capital letter can send it the wrong way looking for the wrong folder so copy and paste both of them and replace the previous file name obviously making sure you keep the one you just copy and pasted you can then save that and keep it open because we are going to need it for one more step if we double click in the readme of eup it will tell you right here that you need native ui which is basically what makes it run the menu because that is what the menu runs off so if you don't have native ui i will show you guys how to install that right now the next step is click the next link down in the description below if you guys do not have native ui installed hit code and then download zip which will take a couple of seconds open it on up and yet again it is a master folder so go inside of your master folder and go inside of the native ui folder and you should be able to see all of your native ui files are here just like a usual plugin the next step is going back to your server directory and now go inside of your menus folder that you made. If you haven't already got one, I'd recommend making one, making sure you add the brackets in the beginning and the end to ensure that it will skip that and just will go right to the files on the inside. So you don't actually have to add this to your server.cfg. And what you guys want to do from here is grab your native UI folder and very simply just drag and drop it into your menu folder. And obviously the next step is going to be adding this to our server.cfg as well. So copy and paste the most recent line and then copy and paste the name of the folder yet again, making sure it is the exact same. And now we are pretty much done. 
but I would actually recommend before we carry on is put this at the top to ensure it works correctly. So put it above your EUP stream and EUP UI to make sure that they load in in the correct order. Otherwise, when you try to load in your UI, it will think that native UI is not there and it will not work because native UI was not loaded before it, if that makes sense to any of you guys. Just make sure that is on the top. That is pretty much like a creature habit I have for most menus. Put them on the top and it just ensures that everything will work as smoothly as possible. One more step before you guys start up your 5M server is making sure that your max clients is set on nothing more than 8. If you guys are playing on your own or just with a few friends, then obviously 8 is plenty enough. But if you guys are playing with a server which has like 20 odd people on, you know, a currently active server, then my best recommendation is to pay the $15 per month on the Patreon because there is no other way around it. Or if you want to, you can get everybody to install the EUP mod on client side, which I wouldn't recommend because it means that every single person in your server would have to have it installed for them to be able to see it. If they don't have it installed, it will not stop anyone else's from working, but it just means they won't be able to see it. So it'll probably break quite a lot of the realism and immersion in the roleplay. But it is what it is. If you don't want to pay the $15, then there is that way of doing it. And from here, pretty self-explanatory. All you guys want to do is start up your 5M server. Once you guys are in your server, all you guys are going to do is type T and then a slash EUP. And you should be able to see here that your EUP menu will start up. And from here, you can select all your different type of EUP uniforms. It comes with tons. So here is your Los Santos Sheriff's Department clothes. You got Noose as well. And it is just a really, really great mod, especially to have into your 5Ms for free. And considering you don't have to pay for it just through doing these simple beta steps and it is allowed and it isn't against any rules. So hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Check out all of my other tutorials on how to install your 5M server and piece it together. My most recent tutorial on how to install a loading screen is probably going to find yourself pretty useful. So be sure to watch that. None of that thing guys. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.